Poppins walked into my life and I absolutely fell in love with her. It was really love at first sight and um, there really wasn't much of a thought behind it. You know, she was absolutely adorable and um, I'm so happy to have her as part of the family. I volunteer at a shelter and I love animals, uh, four-legged. So she was somebody who would follow me every time I'd go there to volunteer. Uh, three days, four days in a row and the fifth day I just couldn't resist. It was love at first sight. There's an inside joke in the family that Zara is actually half cat, half erstwhile page three auntie who's trapped in the body of a dog. And that's literally the persona that she kind of like holds on every day. So she's called uh, Queen Zara. Ooh. feeling of coming back home is invaluable like the way he <laughs> gives you love is like he, we've been missing him for uh, for months and months but every time you come back home it's the same joy he gives us and the impact of excitement is the same you can go out of your house for five minutes into your car and come back because you forgot something or you're gone you're gone for like a week you come back it's the same excitement he is jumping through the glass door he his paw marks are all over my uh, living room glass door my main door because he just wants to like come and jump on you the, the first sight of you and it's just too, it's too beautiful a feeling. <laughs> they came into my life after uh, some sort of an incident. So I used to go and play with them in the neighborhood. They were uh, on the streets. And she had an accident once. And um, so I took her to the doctor. And it was a, quite a bad accident. So I had to take care of her because you can't leave the dog outside. So that was like a gradual transition into adopting the dog. Um, and yeah, they of course never left. And now they're part of the family. They can make everything okay and make your day a lot better. Uh, they can also be really, really trying at times. Um, and especially when they are pups and peeing and pooping all over the house. But uh, they're completely worth it. If she wants you to pet her, then once you start petting her, then she will not let you stop. She keep on pawing uh, you till the time you don't keep petting her. So I think that is my most affectionate moment with her that I share every day. There's no joy like picking up a dog that's been abandoned or an AP for that matter and giving them a home. They give you more love and affection than a, you know, a pure bread that you buy from a breeder. So I think there's no reason not to get an AP and there's no reason not to adopt. You can even adopt a pure bread, but adopt is what I would say. I firmly believe that uh, animals choose you. They are pretty much like your children. So all you have to do is just uh, hear that calling and let them be a part of your life and make it a better place. I think dogs can be your best companions and I really hope more people open their homes to dogs. Heads up for adoption. 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 I'd love for more people to be a part of the Heads Up for Adoption initiative and help us to spread the word about these wonderful companions. Heads up for adoption. Yeah.